what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to talk about why hayden pantier's return to screen 5 could be very useful something that is very in my opinion very important for the success of screen 5 and to just spark more interest regarding the project and of course just in relation to why i i in my personal opinion think kirby reed needs to be featured in screen 5 uh let's get the first thing out of the way we never got a clear confirmation whether she was dead or not and i know everyone who's going to jump in the comment section talking about oh well we didn't get a confirmation that roman was dead we didn't get a confirmation that randy was dead we didn't get a confirmation that uh all these other people were dead because of the fact that i said we did get a confirmation that kirby was dead kirby's case is very different we didn't sit there and we didn't actually see kirby get shot in the head we didn't have any characters come out and say oh yeah kirby was kirby was amongst some of the dead we didn't have kirby's sister come in and say oh uh yeah i have this tape that my dead brother left for you we, we haven't had any of that we actually have things that support her being alive case in my first bit of evidence that i want to talk about here is the fact that again her survival was in the script Wes craven purposely left it out he purposely left it out to tease the chances of her returning that's the only thing i gather from that because i on on my honest opinion someone like Wes craven i don't see him leaving i don't see him leaving a character survival written out just for the sake of just doing that just to say that she's dead that's not that's not why it was left out her survival was in the script he did that to give you something to hang on to going forward and looking into screen five now if that's what he intended then that's what i expect a lot of these I, that's what i expect our new filmmakers to follow up through follow up with Wes craven's intent for the kirby character because kirby reed in the script for screen four she did not she did not die her survival scene is there it's just that i don't even know if you can even find that draft her her survival is just basically her scene was nixed but a lot of people are just interpreting that as a death scene when you should not do that you should not instantly just say that she's dead she's dead when on top of that we have stuff in the fourth movie suggesting she's alive when i say stuff i'm referring to a specific scene i've talked about already where right before charlie grabs sydney upstairs right before the big reveal that it's jill and charlie jill or sydney rather is going down in the kirby's basement and she hears somebody coming inside that most likely was kirby a lot of people are trying to explain it away in the comment section but who's to say that that wasn't a part of the script one of the portions leading into us finding out that kirby was alive and that's the only part of it that Wes craven decided he wanted to leave in the script uh who knows yes of course she still could be end up she could end up being revealed as dead but my reason the reason i'm making this video is sparked by the fact that hayden pantier recently did return to instagram she made a big announcement on twitter that she wanted everybody to follow her on her public instagram and a lot a lot of us think the timing is right for this it's very ironic that she's back on instagram with all these rumblings of screen 5 coming and all this hype regarding kirby possibly returning of course the personal reasons involved could be the fact that she finally is feeling more comfortable and in a better mental mental state perhaps she probably has all these personal things that have been plaguing her for the past couple of months because i believe she just got out of an abusive relationship still has a little bit of hardship going on there possibly with it but she wants to kind of release and give her voice and speak out on all the things going on in the country all the racial injustice regarding uh, george floyd but again a lot of us just find the timing of it very ironic with all this talk of screen five now again it could just be a coincidence but a lot of us are willing to bet that this has something to do with her down the road gonna make an announcement on this instagram where we find out she is in fact going to be starring in screen five kirby is alive she'll be reprising her role as kirby but getting into some reasons why the character should come back everybody is always talking about how they wish randy would come back and how they wish Ran randy should have never died in scream 2 i'm on board with that i agree i don't think randy should have died in scream 2 i would have saved him for scream 3 because it appears that uh the filmmakers who were teasing taking risk in scream 3 they didn't take any risk you if you had randy around for scream 3 you could have had a risk taken by killing off uh one of our one of our main core characters who's been with us since the first movie because they didn't kill off sydney dewey or gail had randy have been there he could have died in scream 3 i would have had an issue with that uh i would have given scream 3 a little bit more credibility when it's talking about all these high stakes and how anyone including the main character can die um uh, doesn't have to be our main character but it could be the the mouthpiece of the fans the mouthpiece of us watching the film this could have saved randy's death for scream 3 
A lot of people regret his death. I uh, feel like it was not something that felt warranted. And they want, they want that character to come back. Kirby's character is honestly a mix of Randy Meeks and Sidney Prescott. She has the movie knowledge and she has this uh, final girl aspect to her where she's more confident than Sidney. I want to say she's also more confident. She's a big fan of the Stab franchise, which is based on Sidney Prescott. So I feel like it'd be very fitting for her to lead the new wave of things in regards to finishing off Scream 5 and Scream 6. Uh, I think that would be the closest thing for us getting a Randy S character back. Somebody like Kirby, uh, who embodies everything Randy stood for. Very, very in love with the horror genre. Uh, also has a little bit of mix of Sidney Prescott, Tatum. A good, she's a good combination of three characters that audiences love. So that's one reason she should come back. Another reason is because there's a fan base that actually wants to see it. Now, again, what I'm saying is I'm not saying bring anyone back just bring anyone back because the fans demand it and the fans want to see it again kirby's death has never been confirmed so any if there's one thing that i would that, that i would say would hype up and get more people more excited for screen five you announced that hayda pantier is going to be back in the screen franchise reprising her role as kirby reed i feel like this is going to catch a lot of eyes for fans of these tv series that she stars in people who are big fans of the character of kirby people who have been theorizing and going on these forums talking about ways that kirby could be alive myself included that's just going to spark more interest in regards to screen five because now this theory that everybody's been talking about is going to come to fruition we find out that kirby is in fact alive Wes craven's original plans for the character could be could be brought to fruition with her being right right there alongside our trio of characters sydney dewey and gail that'd be very nice to see uh Another reason she should come back is because of the because of the fact that I've made I made mention of this already on my channel. The trope of having Dewey, Sydney, and Gale, and just having them three and then a supporting cast that's just basically here to die, be Ghostface victims, that's becoming a little bit tiresome. Add some people to this group with them. Like Scream 2, we had a few cast members who could have stuck around for Scream 3. They they didn't, unfortunately. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of them probably would have liked to if they hadn't killed their character, Hallie. <laughs> I feel like Hallie could have remained alive. I talk about Randy being a mistake to kill. I think Hallie was a mis mistake to kill, in my honest opinion. Uh, we could have been building onto this group, just adding into this group. So a lot of people like to compare. We made this comparison of Fast and the Furious, saying if uh, Vin Diesel can survive all of these Fast and Furious movies, then Nev Campbell can survive five screen movies. Then I, I agree, but also at the same time, if the Fast and the Furious franchise can build a, build upon its core set of characters, the screen franchise can do that. It doesn't have to always just be Dewey, Sidney, and Gale. We can add Kirby. We can add some supporting cast members from Scream 5 into the mix of things and have them back on board in Scream 6. And I li I'd like that to start with Scream 5, bring Kirby back and make her a part of this band of band of characters that we've been seeing for the past four films make her a part of this this unit of sydney dewey and gail she's basically the new randy of the group and she's in the same position as sydney is now because she survived a woodsboro massacre that was orchestrated by someone who was a close friend of hers in in jill roberts uh and then on top of that uh Kirby's already said she's a Sydney's the reason why she loves horror films so I wouldn't I wouldn't think it's that far out of the realm of possibility for her to tag along with the group just for that very reason um another reason would be just to have some a breath of fresh air when it comes to our two final girl to the final girl for this franchise it doesn't have to be just a one final girl we can have multiple final girls in Sydney Kirby maybe another young lady played by again by Tysa Farmiga or maybe Samara Weaving like add on to this stuff like make the story about Kirby and Sydney somehow some way instead of just having one final girl Sydney Prescott which is who everyone's going to identify with for the most part but still blending in a new story a fresh take of things by mixing in Sydney's drama with Kirby's drama intertwining them with this whole ghost face massacre adding one of the killers to a backstory regarding Kirby making that a part of the motive and also tying it back into Sydney making those two on the same playing field I've also made up the fact that I'd, I'd like her mother to be the opening kill uh, those are some of my quick reasons why I personally think Kirby should come back uh, someone who could easily be a new Randy character she was already pretty much like that in in screen four keep that character around for screen five if if you can because it was teased uh, 
build upon your main trio of characters and start to build upon that create a unit of sort uh and then also on top of that more final girls is more two final girl two final girls is better than one final girl especially after a tired trope where it's always just sydney in this role it like it'd be nice to see sydney also have someone who's right there along with her to get through this so like a close friend of, of sorts someone who is going through the same things as her someone who's been through it and someone who can actually understand what she's going through because they've been with it herself and now kirby has a newfound respect for sydney having gone through what she went through so i think that would be another reason to have her back and again the fan the fan support i honestly think if you have kirby in screen five that's going to instantly create more interest and spark a lot of a lot of praise and a lot of interest for the for the project kirby's return i feel like so many people are behind this character that her return could be used in the marketing it could be a marketing scheme without even being adverse in it uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video